In the last screencast, we checked the normality of our data. Remember, we must check the normality of our data in order to use a parametric test. If our data is not normally distributed, then we can't use a parametric test. Now what we need to do is calculate our descriptive statistics. So the main descriptive statistics that we need to calculate are the mean and standard deviation. Now it's really easy to calculate those two things in Excel. So first of all, I'm going to calculate the mean value for stature. So I'm going to highlight the vacant cell beneath the data set on stature. I'm going to type equals, and then I'm going to begin to write the word average. As I write it, you'll notice that the word average comes from a little pop-up menu beneath the cell, and it's highlighted in blue. Now I'm going to click that word in blue, double-click it with the left mouse button, and you'll notice it appears in capital letters and opens a set of brackets for us. It's telling us to enter the data that we want to calculate the average for between those brackets. When we've entered that data, all we then need to do is close the brackets, as we have done there, and then hit enter. And it gives us our average value for stature, 174.4 centimetres. Now to get the average or mean value for mass, we could do the same thing but the easiest thing to do is to just put the cursor on the bottom right hand corner of the highlighted cell there, hold down the left mouse button and drag across and it works out the average for mass for us, 73 kilos. To work out the standard deviation, it's an even simpler process really. Again, we type equals, begin to write STDEV and then again you'll notice it comes up on a pop-up menu from the bottom. It's highlighted in blue, so double click it. Highlight the data that you want the standard deviation for. Notice how I haven't highlighted the mean. We don't want to highlight the mean, it's just the raw data we're interested in. Close the bracket and then hit enter. And there you have it. We've got our means and standard deviations for our data set. Always worth knowing before we run any stats. Now, the second point is we need to decide whether we're looking for differences or relationships. Well, Based on the research question where it says association between stature and mass, then it's fairly obvious that we're looking for a relationship. So we need a parametric test that looks for relationships between two variables. So we're going to use a Pearson correlation. So if we click forward then to our SPSS spreadsheet, I've already got the data uploaded into that sheet. All we're going to do then is run a Pearson correlation on this data. And in order to do that, the first step we take is to click Analyze. We go about a third of the way down the menu to Correlate. We want the bivariate correlation, so two variables, bivariate. Click it. My variables are already in the variables box there, so these are the two variables that are going to be correlated. It's a Pearson correlation that we're interested in, so the Pearson correlation is already clicked there. We click on Options. We've got the option there to calculate the mean and standard deviations. It's probably worth doing that. It gives you a little bit more information. Click Continue and then click OK. So, SPSS gives us this output. The first output is our descriptive statistics. So it gives us the means and the standard deviations for our two data sets. We already know those, so we're not that interested in that. The thing we are interested in, though, is the correlation values. So. The first value we're interested in is the Pearson correlation value. A perfect positive correlation produces a value of 1. So when stature is correlated with stature, we get a value of 1. Now we didn't want to correlate stature with stature, we want to correlate stature with mass. So if we look at this figure here, 0 0.846, that's the one we're interested in. So that's the strength of our correlation. Correlation values range from minus 1, a perfect negative correlation, to plus 1, a perfect positive correlation. So here we have quite a strong positive correlation. Basically, as stature increases, so does mass. In order to find out whether this is a significant correlation or not, we need to look at the sig value, with two tailed in brackets there. So if we look at the sig value, it tells us that the significance value is 0.002. Remember, we're looking for a value less than 0.05, and this value most certainly is. Therefore, there is a significant relationship between stature and mass in the data that we've examined.